there's so many different kinds of hamburger meat at the store. You know, you've seen those lean labels, right? Well, what do they mean? And what's the real difference? Today, I'm doing a side-by-side -side comparison, and you'll be able to see the difference for yourself. Coming up on DK College. Hi, I'm Deb, and welcome to DK College. Here, I cover the how-tos of cooking, the basic skills and know-how to get from market to meal. And if you're new to the kitchen, rest easy, because I'll walk you through it step by step. So what kind of hamburger should you buy? Well, come on in and let's find out, because class is about to start. So what do those numbers on the lean labels mean? Well, it's actually pretty easy to remember. The first number stands for the percentage of lean meat in the ground beef, and then the second number stands for the percentage of fat. Now today, I have four common grinds that we're going to compare side by side. The first one I have is 7327, and as you look at it, it looks pretty pale, um, kind of pinkish in color. That's because it's 27% fat. I paid $2.49 a pound for this. Next, I have 8020, and you can see that the color is a little more red on this one. That's because it's only 20% fat, and I paid $2.99 a pound. Next is 8515, and to be honest with you, as I look at them side by side, I don't see a lot of difference in the color. That's because there's just a 5% difference in the fat percentage. However, they will cook differently, and this one was more expensive. It was $3.79 a pound. My last one is actually a deep, rich red color, especially if you compare it to the first one. That's because it is 93% lean beef and only 7% fat. This one I paid $3.89 a pound for. However, that was a sale price. The regular everyday price on this is $4.00 and 49 cents a pound. We've seen them side by side raw, but the real comparison is when we cook them. These four pounds of uh, ground beef are going to be cooked on my stove, and I'm going to brown all of them completely so that there's no pink showing. And then the four quarter pound burgers are going outside onto my grill, and then we're gonna meet up back here and see what we find. Okay, we're back. We've finished cooking all of the meat, and now it's time to find out what we discovered. When I was browning the meat on the stovetop, I found that the 93, 85, and 80 all cooked in a very similar way. It took about the same amount of time, uh, browned up nicely, they all smelled good, and the um, finished crumbled ground beef was very similar in weight. This was 10.1, 10.4, and 10.3 ounces, so pretty close. Where it really was a significant difference was with the 73%. I gotta tell you, it was a little weird in the pan. It didn't smell very good, and it looked kind of gross. I mean, it was kind of gelatinous. A lot of fat was coming out of it. And when all was said and done, I ended up with only 9.2 ounces. Keep in mind, I started with one pound of each, that's 16 ounces. So I lost almost seven ounces out of this one. That's quite a bit. Now let's look what happened on the grill. These all started out as quarter pounders, four ounces a piece. And both the 93 and 85, again, they were very similar in the way that they cooked. They smelled really good, like a good hamburger was on its way. And uh, they took about the same amount of cook time. They were both done in about six minutes. Now the 93, I ended up with a 2.6 ounce finished burger. On the 85, I had a 2.5 ounce, so really close. Now things got a little bit more interesting when we got to the 80 because with that higher fat content, it was starting to drip down into the grill and the flames were kicking up a little bit. And because of that, it was raising the heat. The burger got done faster in five minutes and 15 seconds. And I ended up 
with a 2.6 ounce patty. So size wise, it didn't make a lot of difference, but the cook time was shortened because of the extra heat. Now with the 73, this is where it really got exciting because uh, we had fire. Seriously, there was so much fat pouring out of this patty that it caught flames down in the bottom and I, <laughs> smoke, flames, everything. I mean, it was, I didn't need my fire extinguisher, but I thought about it for a second. Anyway, um, you can see kind of crispy and it cooked so fast because of the higher heat. This one was done in four and a half minutes, a full minute and a half faster than these two. And the finished patty is only 2.2 ounces. I started with four. That's almost half the amount by the time it was done cooking. That's a big deal. So now let's talk about what came out of the meat. Anytime you're browning beef on the stovetop, you're going to get a couple things that come out of it. And it's either fat or meat juices. And what I discovered was really pretty interesting. Starting with the 93.7, and remember I paid $4.49 a pound for this. The brown that you see is meat juice, and then that little tiny sliver of white on the top is fat. That shows me that this really is a very lean grind of hamburger. Now the next one was the 85.15, that one I paid $3.79 a pound for, and wow, big difference. You see quite a bit more fat in this one, although we still have quite a bit of juice as well. But every time you see the fat here, that also signals more fat that's left behind in the meat because you can't get it all out. So this is about four times, maybe five times as much fat as this one. Now, the 8020 I paid 299 for and you can see even more fat this looks like about 50% juice and 50% fat let's go to the 7327 this was only 249 a pound but watch this look at the level of fat little tiny bit of juice on the bottom and all the rest is fat now for me I don't think I would be interested in eating this because it's going to taste a little greasy. It's going to have kind of a oily feel in my mouth. It just doesn't sound appetizing. So sorry, guys. This meat is going to go into puppy chow. The 80-20 is what you'll see on the food channels where the chefs like to make homemade hamburgers with 80-20. They choose this because they like that higher level of fat because added fat means added flavor. It's going to be a juicy, flavorful burger. Now, it's a great choice, but it's not my first choice. I really like the 8515. It still has enough fat to have great flavor. It's a juicy burger, but it's just not quite as greasy or fatty as the 8020, and certainly nowhere near the 7327. Now, for someone who is trying to be careful about watching their fat content, they may want to go with this 93.7 because, again, you can't get a whole lot more lean than this. But there is a, a warning with that. When you cook it, you have to be really careful because it's very easy to overcook it and dry it out because that fat has been taken out. And you don't want to end up with a hockey puck. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what you'd like to see on DK College. I'll see you at our next session, but for now, class is dismissed.